Alberta's first hydrogen vehicle refueling station has been opened here in Nisku, 30 minutes south of Edmonton. With gas prices already jumping at the pump, Alberta's premier calls it the fuel of the future. Everybody ready? Here we go. Everybody look up. Premier Danielle Smith was on hand to cut the ribbon at the first privately owned and operated hydrogen fueling station in Alberta, a sign her government is all in on hydrogen, investing $100 million into various projects. Well, I'm constantly having discussions about hydrogen and, and hydrogen possibilities, including uh, fueling stations, and uh, I think it's uh, another example of how this government is getting things right. We're making sure the private sector sees the opportunity and pursues it with private sector money and, and some other money. The minister's comments come as internationally, there are questions around hydrogen's future. Shell recently scrapped plans to expand hydrogen vehicle fueling stations in California. And closer to home, the city of Edmonton pulled back on plans to build a hydrogen fueling station for buses and vehicles. There is an extremely limited number of public hydrogen cars on the road in Alberta. But as the province celebrates this first station, electric vehicle owners say they're feeling left out. The Alberta government implementing a $200 a year tax for electric vehicle owners in the province, set against the backdrop of the province placing new restrictions on renewable energy projects. Well, it seems to me they're picking winners and losers. And, and kind of in our view, it's kind of a loser because it's very expensive to get the infrastructure going. But it's going to take billions of dollars to create a proper hydrogen fueling infrastructure. Who's going to pay for that? Bell adds the cost of investing in electric vehicle charging stations and infrastructure is much less than hydrogen. To build a hydrogen fueling station, it's estimated to be around $3.2 million according to a hydrogen fuel cell company out of the U.S. Compare that, the latest estimates for home charging stations ranging from one to 3,000. With gas prices rising in Edmonton and expected to go up Monday with the reinstatement of the provincial fuel tax and the increase to the federal carbon tax, Environment Minister Brian Jean echoing the federal Conservative Party, hoping that technology, instead of a carbon tax meant to change behaviors, is what's needed to reduce emissions and tackle climate change. So I think it would be a much more practical solution than what we have right now, and a solution that doesn't see an increase in carbon tax. I mean, thinking that a carbon tax is going to change the weather is ridiculous. Uh, this is just simply a transfer of wealth, and it's not helping at all. Seeing hydrogen as the future, he expects the industry to be generating trillions of dollars by 2050. Adding investing in hydrogen will get the province to its 2050 zero emissions goals. Reporting from Nisku, Darcy Ropchan, City News.